Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. My name is Charmaine, and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if it's not your first time, thanks for coming back. This video is going to really inform you on the sites that you need if you're either just crafting, if you're building a business, if you already had a business that you've been rocking with for a minute. And it's also sites on here that I'm gonna explain to you how to find good merchandise for your business and also how to make or design your images for your business and also create different promotion tips or promotions to help your business grow okay so with that being said my name is Charmaine and I own a few businesses okay I'm a busy woman I have a daycare first I also have two online boutiques on Etsy one is called charming girl boutique that's my dot boutique and I also have a children's boutique um named that's my granddaughter which is called a ray of sunshine and um I sell children clothes now I'm also launching my 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 clothing line which is called top notch status that's in the making right now I did launch it about a week ago so I'm also designing different clothing for my clothing line me and my husband clothing line top notch status now also I hear I'm here on YouTube making videos and I'm always always finding new things to bring to you and show you and review to you to let you know if it's worth buying it you know what I'm saying worth getting it you know bringing it into your business I embroider I sew I do sublimation I do DTF I um I also do vinyl, which is the Cricut and Silhouette. I show you how to design different things. I do hats. I have a hat press, mug press, tumbler press. I do it all, y'all. And I got more to come, okay? I have more things on the way in the making. Um, things just getting shipped in a couple weeks. So I just um, excited about that. So that's coming up. And I can't wait to share with y'all more <laughs> machinery that I'm going to have in my possession to show you and review to you and show you how to work them the best as I know how you know and if I make my mistakes I show you my mistakes so you won't so you can learn from my mistakes so I love doing this I love teaching people I love showing you what I know so you can put you can you can add it to your business or your crafting experience or whatever so today I'm going to do a video and I'm going to show you seven different sites that can help you grow your business grow your creativity or just <laughs> Just have it here in your um, possession so you can know when you can go back and forth to use it. You will know where to, where to, where to go. Because some people don't want to tell you with this, these certain sites that's helpful and useful to you. But today I'm going to show you, okay? And I'm going to walk you through it, okay? So y'all know I am affiliate with Creative Fabrica. I love Creative Fabrica. So you see this on the screen right now, Creative Fabrica. Oh my God. Creative Fabrica is like... Um, a mixture of different things okay i have um, a couple videos about creative fabrica in my um on my um page so i do not want to go in great detail today because i want to talk about all other these other seven sites that i want to go through okay so um creative fabrica is a place you can go to get images to get fonts to either even make mock-ups for your business okay so let me go to my let me just show you all my favorites today okay but like i said if you if you go to the link below and it says creative fabrica under this video you can go ahead and Click on that and you can get a discounted rate on the, um, if you sign up with my link. Okay. So go ahead and check that link. I'll click on the link and ex uh, explain everything to you of how to join this site. Okay. My favorites. Look at this, y'all. Look at these fonts. I love fonts. You could just do so many things with fonts when you're creating whatever you're creating for your business or just for your crafting needs. Okay. Um, I also have the arts, all kind of image clip arts. Okay. Most of these are all PNGs. Okay, I love them. You can use this for sublimation. You can use it for DTF, I'm um, DTG, whatever you have, whatever machines you have. You can use the silhouette. Um, you can design in silhouette, but silhouette is just like cricket. You got it's vinyl, so um, you can use it any <laughs> anywhere you want. You can use these any. I'm sorry, any way you want. Okay, so let me go ahead and just show you. If you click on one of these images, and then you see, you can download it right to your um computer. And it's so easy. You download it. Then mine's. I have a um, Mac, so I push this button and it pop up right on my desktop, right? And it, right here it tells you include commercial license, so you cannot sell these images, but you can design things 
with these images, put them on your uh, products and sell them like that. You could do any kind, anything. Like you just look at my videos. You can see how I create calendars, how I create um, notebooks, planners, um, journals with different images. Okay. So yes, I do all that y'all. So check me out on my YouTube channel. You can do it yourself or you can just go to my, um, um, Etsy page and you can just purchase from me. Okay. My Etsy store. Okay. So this is creative fabrica. Check the link below. Click on the link below. Describe that you can join this, <clears throat> this, this site for real cheap. I think it's like $4 a month and you can cancel anytime. No obligation to you. Also, it's like a Etsy. You, you know how you go to Etsy and you buy images and stuff, but you got to pay for them images every time you go on Etsy. No, this here, you pay once a month fee. You can download as much as you want. Any time of day you want, just download this stuff and you only got to pay one monthly fee. And it's no, you, you can cancel any time. Okay. They have classes, they have needlework, which you can show you how to do crochet and knit and all this other stuff. Quit quilting, um, sewing patterns. Look at this, y'all. If you want to know how to sew, and I love sewing. I love knowing you can just create new things. And you, <laughs> I make a dress or something. I'm like, oh, my God, I made that. I make mostly children's clothes, but I also make different things that I, I make for me and my daughter. But look, look at this. Different kind of patterns you can get. Here's a dress. A nice, oh, my, that's easy. To, that might be easy to make. Look at that. Hard to dress. These hats are really fashionable right now. Little baby shorts. Free. I mean, not free because you pay a monthly fee. But it's really cheap fee, and because so you can go on Etsy and buy these patterns, and it's like ten or six dollars a piece. I mean, six, six or ten dollars a piece for just a pattern where you can get download all these patterns today. And if you want to cancel, cancel. But I'm not <laughs> saying you want, should, but <laughs> do what you want. It's your, it's up to you. Okay. All kind of graphics, 3D patterns, all kind of things like that. Logos, illustration, backgrounds. Look at this. They have backgrounds you could put on the different on your shirts and, or your if you're doing planners or anything like that. All kind of backgrounds, y'all. Check it out. Check this site, creativefabrica.com. The link is below. Click on the link. Okay, let's go to the next one, y'all. Canva. Canva is a, oh my God, Canva is so nice because basically Canva is a basically a, 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 a um, site that you can design whatever you want on it. I like Canva because you can basically, if you download it, it'll go into a PDF file, which is what you need mostly when you design this stuff. Okay, so look at this stuff that I already designed. Um... I designed bags. I designed um, shirts. These are DTF transfers that I created myself with um, Mirji Blige, Seth Curry. These are calendars I made right here. This is the calendar I made, 2023 calendar. This different shirts. These are also this is a mock-up that I made in Canva. The mock-up came from um, Creative Fabrica. But um, if, if you want to see how you can do the mock-ups, I got a video on how to mock-up things from Creative Fabrica. I got a video on how to mock-up in, sil in silhouette and in Canva. Okay, so check those videos out. Look at this. These are different um, journals that I made. These are just the, the the covers of my journals that I make. And I download these to PDF files and I print them out. And here's and you can see right here. I made a. Let me show you this real quick, quickly. Here's the um the uh, cover of my journal. And I, these are the lines. I make my own line pages and I copy this as many as I want to. And then I go to my cinch. If you don't know about my cinch, check my video out about how to create. Um, calendars in a cinch. A cinch you basically put your holes in it and bind your books, your papers together to make it a calendar, a, a, a binder, or a, a, a journal. Okay, so that's how it looks. Make your own lines or whatever. So Canva's a lot. I have a lot of videos on Canva. Check that out and also check the link below so you can get a free. Um, but it's, it's, I have a link below for Canva. Check that link out under my video. I'm not really sure what it is because it's been a while since I um clicked on it but i'm pretty sure it's a discount rate because just you do have to pay for canva you can do a, i think you could do a free version i'm sorry <laughs> i have the pro version so i'm paying for that but i do believe there is a free a version of cam canva okay so there is it might be a free version but i have the pro so i'm paying for it because some different play, things you can do let me show you how to look if you go to the custom size i usually do a 10 by 10 okay and then there's a lot of things you cannot use for canva if you do the free version so for me, I use Pro, so you could be able to basically remove background. So if I go to um different, it's different play things in here that if you put, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me go to uh, elements, my elements that I written. You know, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my uploads. Okay, so let me just put something in here so I can show y'all I'm talking about. So if I go to her name right here, this is Rihanna's name. It's a white background. 
um, you might not be able to see it. But then right here, say edit photo, edit photo, and the remove background is not in the free version or the cheap version. I'm not sure if it's free or if it's cheaper than my pro version. But you have to do the pro version to get this um to do, to remove backgrounds. Okay, so now the background is um removed, and I could put this behind a body or a person. But if that white, if I wouldn't have removed the background, it would have been a white um backing on that. Okay, so for for instance, right here, you can see that, right? So let me go ahead and push edit photo and remove background see now i can be able to use her and don't have to worry about having no background to it and this is this one background to it i can go ahead and use that too i'm gonna go ahead and push um position and bring it forward no yeah i got so many things different sites i use i forget how to use it i think i had it right clicked it oh my god where is it at uh I got so much stuff going on right now. It's gotta be in here, position. Position, and it's supposed to be bring forward. But anywho. Uh, oh. Position. <laughs> See, I didn't come over here. I didn't come over here to, to design, y'all. I just did a whole design. I, what I do, I think, was I, I did Rihanna. I did a whole design with her, and I got that on my YouTube channel. So check that video out, okay? It shows you everything I did to design a, an image, I mean, a, a shirt with her on it, okay? And right now, <laughs> I have a brain fart, and I can't remember how to, oh, it's how to um make this go in front of her. Let me see if I can just click on her and see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm not going to play with this, y'all. I'm not going to play with this, but it's a way that you can position this this ink, I mean, this, this, um, this picture in front of her. And right now, I'm not about to figure this out right now because I have I'm having a brain fire. But anyway, this is Canva. And then after I do this right here, I could just go ahead and push share, download, and transfer um transparent background and then download and then make it a PD a PF you know a PDF file. Okay. Yeah, I'm tired. But you know what? I cannot get off this video without figuring this out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me see why I cannot figure this out. Am I missing something? Is this supposed to move up and down? Align page, no. I got, I got to do the show. I, I'm sorry. I had to figure it out because I just cannot get stop. What the heck? It's not under this. Oh my goodness, what is it? No, it's not that either. Oh my god, it's gonna break. It's gonna make me. I'm gonna lose my mind up in here. Up in here. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. But anyway. She'd be cute if it was just like this too. But it's a way you can. God, I cannot be on here all day doing it. It's all going to be in the comments laughing at me like Charmaine, really? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's supposed to be something I could say bring to the front. This position is right here. Oh my God, here it is right here, y'all. I'm tripping. Why is it didn't do that before? Okay. So, like, right here, bring to the back. Her body will be going to the back, so it's her body should go under. See, it goes under that um name. But it should be also the one to say bring to the front. And right here, but it's not, it's not, um, it's not letting me do that. And I don't understand why. So, I had it all the way, I had it all the way, all the, um, so the whole time it was supposed to be position, basically. You push position, and position shows you. But I don't know why it's not highlighted right here. It's supposed to, so I could be able to bring this to the front or to the back of this image right here. So it's always supposed to be highlighted. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's my camp but not working right. But yeah, this is it right here. You position the picture front or back. So this this word can go in front of her and it can also go behind her. Okay. So yep, right here. If I push this to the if I push this and go to the front, then she can go to the front of the image. Okay. See, I don't know what happened before. I don't know why that wasn't highlighted. So there I have it, y'all. I couldn't get out of this without figuring that out, okay? So this is Canva. Check out the link below. I'm sorry to be so long to figure that out, but I did, okay? <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and delete this. Okay, so the next thing you need to know, if you don't have Canva, and you just want to get an image um, and remove the background, upload this to remove background. It's basically remove.bg right here. Remove.bg, Okay. I love this because there's so many images you can get from Google, which is another site that I was going to have on my list. Google is a good, good site for you to be able to um, find images for your, for your, um, your, your, your clothing line or your brand or your create your craft. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So I go to Google and I Google, I could Google, uh, Mike Tyson. 
right? Okay. And then I go to images right here. And then I see something I like. I see like a picture I like of him. Okay, so let me see. Mm, something that's going to show his whole. I like this one. Excuse me. So you got to basically, I don't know what this image is until I click, right click on it. And I say, um, save image, save image as. And right here it tells you what it is. Let's see what it is. So sometimes you can save, sometimes it's not. So it's like, it's, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's an iCloud image. Okay. Sometimes iCloud works, sometimes it don't. Some of these PNG images, sometimes they don't. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and save this and see if I can use this. Oh, I can. So I'm going to do is save to my desktop to desktop and it's on my desktop now right so you see him so now let me show you where it's at he is right here okay so now i'm gonna, I'm gonna remove that background so i can put him on a shirt or something like that so i'm gonna go to remove background which is remove bg okay remove dot bg i upload the image and i look for the, the picture that i just um saved in my desktop okay and where he go I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, y'all. I am tired, but I really want to get this video out to y'all because I know I haven't had I've been gone for like a week probably. So I'm like, let me get a video out real quick. And um, like I said, stay tuned, stay tuned because soon I have more um machineries, <laughs> machines to uh show you and to to review and to uh you know show y'all what I'm working with, y'all. Show y'all what I'm working with. Okay, so this is cool, this is good, but then you can also edit this. You can edit this and you can put background to him if you want to, right? So if you want to put him behind <laughs> like that, you could do that to him. You could do him like this. It's so much you could do with <laughs> with this 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 feature. This is a nice site to use if you're if you want to do it like a, a photo of yourself. Like if you want to take a background of yourself and put put it on a business card, or if you want to get an image of a, of a customer and you want to take the background off and put it on a tumbler or a mug. This is the site you go to, okay? Or you want to put on a shirt? I just did a shirt. I did to remove the background of the shirt and then I, you know, um, and make it plain. So it'd be this, um, so it'd be plain. You can just put on a shirt without the background on it. Okay. So let's go ahead and, um, go back to where we was at. Erase and restore. See, I never even tried these background. I would never do the background before. I just do it, you know, just the plain background. So this, see, now you see all these is on here. You can do what you want to do, or you can just leave it plain, a plain background. So I'm just gonna say I don't need that. So I can just use it like this. So if I do like use it like this, I just go ahead and download and it'll be a white background. This gray looks like it's gonna be gray, but it's not. Okay. It's PN, this is now a PNG file. Okay, so you can basically use it any way you want to. Sublimation, use it for P uh DTF, whatever. Okay. Then I'm gonna let me just show you how to look at that. I save it on my, my background. Downloads, let's see. I wanna put it on my desktop. Now it saves. All I have to do. So let me show you that it is gonna be a white background. Uh, right here. Where you go? White. Well, <laughs> it shows gray right here. So right here it shows white. And it even tell you right here it says um um view PNG. So I know it's gonna be the um the one that's uh with no background. This one right here says a P. I mean this is a JPG. And this is the one I got right off the internet. But now that I got it cleared, the white background now it's a PNG. As you can see that PNG. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Like I said, I have seven different sites I want you to know. Okay, we went through Canva. We already did remove background. We did Google, because Google is a nice place to go to search for images and then you can remove the background and you can, you can make it your own. Um, okay, be careful with Google, because some things you can't get off Google, you can get um, in trouble for using stuff in Google, but still Google is a nice spot. I use Google all the time for people and my family and you know different things you can find different things search for anything but also go to images and this is how you find the image you take the background up. i have a video on how to do that also <laughs> so yes the fourth one let's see let's go to what's this one up here place it place it.com is p-l-a-c-e-i-t dot net i'm sorry dot net oh my god place it it's a really good mock-up site for you for your business like if you have some some things that you want to show people with shirts if you want to if you want to whatever they have shirt they have me show you designs they have apparel gaming music social media you could do a lot of things from canva i do a lot of mock-ups for my shirts my cuts my hats and stuff like that so let's go ahead and go to hats okay mock-up hats 
okay and this also this is, this is also a fee okay um for for um, places it's a fee i'm not really sure what it is but just um you could do a free account i guess it's a free account but i pay i'm pretty sure i pay for i pay for this because if you pay for it you get a lot of images i use this a lot so so um if you pay if it's free then you basically pay separately for each image you download if you want it in your on your business but if you pay for it you don't got to pay for them images separately you can pay it basically it's a monthly fee and you can just get as many downloads as you want okay so let's just try this hat okay i'm gonna go ahead and click on this one for this hat image and then what you need to do is basically you go into insert image this is your image that you want to put on your hat so i go to i can go to recently upload Oh, I I gotta log in first. Let me let me log in real quick. Okay, so now you see I'm here, Miss Charm Gal. I'm here, my account. Okay, so then I'm gonna go insert image recently upload because I did put some stuff in here already. So I'm gonna go to my desktop desk um top and look for it. So as you can see, I've been doing a lot of shirts and stuff. Okay, so I, this is my my uh my business logo, my my um. My clothing line is coming out top not status. Okay, I got this done. This logo done. So here's the shirt right here. I'm sorry. Here's the hat right here. So you can make the image bigger or smaller, however you want to fill in that hat, or however you're going to create the hat. So you make sure you're showing them what you're going to be creating. Okay, so I'm going to be creating about this size. Okay, I can sublimate this on a hat. I can put vinyl on the hat, or I can uh, embroider. Okay, so this is my my um clothing line, and this is what I will be selling. Okay, to my customers. So I can make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to go ahead and push crop look at that look at that it's ready to be shown on my on my um on my Etsy page on facebook whoever i want to put this i can put this in there. It's like a real person is wearing my stuff okay and here goes some more images you can see these images right here it tell you you can use click on one of these you can use them okay so let me show you how this looks then you push download and then it's it's processing and it's going to pop up and i can just go ahead and save it as a png and i can just put it wherever i want okay screenshot if you want to whatever okay and you just click here to download. But I'm not gonna download it because I already have this already um, on my site. So I just want to show you the process of how to do this. Okay, they have all different things. They have. Let me show you mugs. This is placeit.net. Okay, you can do mugs on here. You just basically click on it, and you could put use this right here. You can put different images on all these mugs. Okay, you can change the color of the mug. You can change the color of the background. You can change the color of whatever you want to change. Okay, you could do that. Let me just show you. I forgot to show y'all something real quick on this image I just did. On this one, you can change the hat color, okay? So I'm going to close this right here. Look at this. You can change the hat to whatever color you want. Whatever color you're going to sell. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? Brilliant, okay? Whatever color you want. And you can, like I said, um, and then you can add graphic, graphics if you want to anywhere. Like, I usually put my logo right here so nobody wants to steal my image. I put my, my logo right here. So there you have it. <laughs> this is your brand. Go ahead and sell it, okay? So that is placeit.net. Let's go to the next one. Fiverr.com, y'all. Fiverr.com is a uh, the beast of uh, if you're looking for a logo, if you're looking for somebody to digitize your embroidery, if you're looking for somebody to make a logo or whatever, there's so much stuff in here. You can look at the categories. Let's check it out. Social media designs, web banners, draft um graphic for um for um streamers um social media marketing social media thumbnails i did my thumbnail from youtube i did that from on here on here somebody on here did my thumbnail for me i sure don't know how to do it so i did that with them and i'm, I'm going to show y'all my thumbnail also but um logo design video marketing all this stuff y'all i've come here basically for my logos like for my design i just showed y'all for my um my clothing line i got it from here they designed it for me i'm not gonna tell you who i go with because you pick out who you want to go through okay you basically come on here you basically look at people's stuff you'll google like okay let's say digitize and i'm gonna just say logo right so i put logo enter and then I just, and then it tell you everybody that do logos. This is all the people that do logos, okay? I would promote, oh, no, this is, did it go through? Logos. Maybe I'm not signed in. I don't know why it's doing this to me, y'all. I don't know why my, my screen is going black. I don't know. But basically, if you just put in what you're looking for right here. What the heck? Let's see, logo. I'm, my my computer back and crazy. So right here, tell you, I would, I would do, um, here it tell you right here i would do all the logos you need <laughs> my computer it's acting crazy y'all i'm sorry there you go okay so 
and just find them, uh, find one of these people, find one of these designers, and you can and, and look through their stuff. It tell you right here how many stars they have. Four point nine. Then you see how many people they they um they they service. One point. I mean one k. Okay, one k. That's good. So I try to find the ones that's um that have a lot of people that done dealt with them. Okay, and they got they more than five four stars. Okay, so that's what I go for people like that. So you just gotta search and then you look through there. You click on today business this is the business most of them out of time most of them out the country their times are different and it tells you the times and tell you all that stuff too if you if you start um dealing with them and tell you what time it is in their country so you can know you know if they up or not and they, if they can respond to you but just check out the reviews okay check out the reviews and you go from there tell you about our response time for them they speak english um they're from this is where they're from so it tell you that and tell you how long them how long they've been a member last delivery was nine hours ago so he's doing his thing okay so it shows you different things different logos they did you search through the logos and you, you say okay well i like the way he's doing things i'm gonna go ahead and check with him and here's more stuff that he does right here or she okay and this is her, she's kind of he kind of expensive or she is i go for something like 10 or 15 dollars you know what i'm saying i don't do all this 25 that's just too much so you can find something cheaper and they can do your stuff for you for you really good okay i did you get my digitizing done for my embroidery i do that from here too i i just go into digitizing for embroidery and i tell them what files i need what size i need and um they they, they basically deliver it to me and i can just um um download it into a file and i can go ahead and um go ahead and stitch it out stitch it out stitch it out okay so that's that's fiverr.com fever.com however you want to call it but i call it fiverr it's like i hear here's the website f-i-v-e-r-r.com fiverr.com okay okay let me see last but not least okay i told you about canva creative fabrica google remove background place it fiverr the last one i'm gonna do is alibaba okay alibaba is the oh, it's a lot going on alibaba okay and alibaba is not an easy site site to, i mean it could be easy but you just gotta really be in there and and just basically get your feet wet fingertip wet whatever you want to call it <laughs> it's an online uh site based out of china and people can be on here crazy they can be selling crazy stuff and the stuff might come back you might get it shipped to you and it might be not what you're looking for it might be different color it might be too small whatever whatever you have to <clears throat> really research <clears throat> excuse me and find a, somebody that you look whatever you're looking for okay so um i'm gonna go, go through my stuff but this is my um alibaba is this me no I, I didn't sign in yet i don't want to sign in because it's going to tell you too much stuff going on what i'm looking for whatever but they have apparel they have if you want to look for an embroidery machine they have different machines printers clothing but i'm on here i used to sell blanks back in the day i used to sell sublimation blanks and i found my supplier from alibaba and they was legit it was it was fast shipping you could talk to them through uh whatsapp it was wonderful okay so um i'm also look i look on here for like different things clothing if you can see um uh, sweatsuits and shorts outfits for my clothing line this all on here so what you do is you just click on here and it tells you the response time like right here it says two to 48 sets it's eight dollars a piece but and it tell you how many sometimes it tell you how many you have to have how many you can get for when you buy it is it like a two minimum is it 100 minimum right here i'm thinking it's 48 minimum sets no i usually tell you but sometimes it can be confusing right here it tell you the colors it tell you the size they have here's the amount you can have quality sets one to 500 okay lead time nine days but this is out of china it's gonna take a while for them to come out minimum order is 100 sets okay there you go right here okay so um you gotta look and see if you don't want that many sets find someone else that says you can just get one set to start off with and then you can also uh, message them right here and let them know x them what's the quality can you get a sample so you can better see the quality of this oh i like that that's nice i like that for a man okay look the shorts i was looking for that too so maybe it's showing this up showing this because they know i'm looking for stuff like this for me and for my clothing line so that's nice but you never know because don't order a lot at once because sometimes them they ain't gonna come out looking like this sometimes it depends on where you're getting it from um but it might you just gotta get x for a sample and see how they see how they um run their business or whatever um contact the supplier you can also see how long they've been on um alibaba which is let's see say ready to ship you go down here and you see the you can look at the return the refunds the payments the shipping one time guarantee by uh, may the 8th see that's made it's only it's april okay no may april yes yeah, april so that's a whole month okay um and right here is the overview of the company you can see the verified um information so you can see if they're a legit company check them out you can see how they how they um how their production flow all this stuff is here okay it tells you about where they located all this stuff okay 
uh, the product details. It tell you about that. How long they've been here's the, the model number. It also tell you how long they've been here on Alibaba. Um, where's that at? It should be on here somewhere. I'm just rushing through here because I don't want to be here all day. I'm already 30 minutes in. But it tells you everything you need to know about these suppliers, okay? Um, you can go up here, right, right here. The rating, the store rating. You can go online daily rate. It tells you a lot because you, people, they don't want to have people on here that's really not legit and taking your money. So it's, it's, they're, they're really sharing with you what's going on with the company, how long they've been on here, if they're a star seller, um, supplier, all that's on here. You just got to read the whole the, the whole sheet, okay? Everything about their business is on here. So, like I said, they Alibaba sells everything, okay? They sell, they have trade shows. I mean, some stuff is going to go ready to ship. It's here, it's ready to ship. But they got a lot going on here. But you just got to do your research. That's nice. You got to do your research. And I'm looking for some of these. And um, just check out the sites. It takes a while. Like, I could be on here all night just looking through stuff and trying to figure out the nice, what I, what's good for my business, right? And then I contact them and see how they talk in they don't talk english but you can still go back and forth with them and ask them you know can you get a sample and how long how much is the shipping and how many do you have to buy from them and, and what they do they do wholesale prices most of these are wholesale prices but they can still hook you up okay because like i said i had a really good you got to get a relationship with these suppliers because if you're going to deal with them you got to get to know them and and you know try to get as much as you can get so them help you with your business and the products that you'll get from them okay so that's it for this video, y'all. I showed y'all a lot of sites. For more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. Click that red bell so you can be notified when I do more videos. Um, like I said, I got more inventory coming. I have more um more um machinery coming. Uh just just heads up. I have a new embroidery machine coming soon, a couple weeks. So I can't wait till that I have a commercial one. <laughs> the big ones. Okay, I already got one and I have a lot of stuff going on now and I need another one. So that's coming pretty soon. Um, I got lots more to come. I'm um, reviewing the, the things that's coming in. So you can see an uh, unboxing and just show you all what's going on with me and my businesses. And I can show you. And maybe you want to go ahead and purchase that machine or, or you can see how I like it, how, how it performs, how how you um put it together. All that's coming up, y'all. I also have more videos just coming up about um doing more sublimation, doing more DTF. If you don't know about DTF machine, oh my God, I love it. It's a game changer. Check out my link below if you're looking for a DTF, um, DTF machine printer. Um, check out my videos first so you can just give it a Vince, get a clue of what a DTF machine is. Um, also, I have other links under my video, so check out the links under my video. I have a lot of different links that you can go to for um, images that you might be looking for for your for your business to create different things. I have different um, different discount links on here so just go scroll down and just check out my links out all the links might i might be in a couple affiliate links but there's no extra cost to you if you click on those links it, it will save you money and all that the affiliate money goes to this channel to help me <laughs> buy more new things to show y'all with show y'all to explore okay so Sorry that I'm talking fast. I'm tired, y'all, but I want to get this video out. I appreciate your support. I look forward to doing more videos, and I hope you'll come back to see me. Until next time, be blessed.